Steaming vegetables, whether from fresh or frozen, is my favorite way to prepare them. It's really simple and they're absolutely delicious. But today, I'm gonna steam and crisp this frozen broccoli. Welcome to the Salted Pepper, where we cook for real life using real food and we keep it real simple. And today's recipe is very simple. It is for steam and crisped broccoli. And I'm gonna use the Ninja Foodie One Lid. That is the OL series. This one is the 501, which is the six and a half quart, but you can do this recipe with any of the sizes of the OL series. I'm gonna use Steam Crisp. So you can also use this recipe if you have a Ninja Speedy. Now, if you have an older model of a, like Instant Pot Duo Crisp or the Ninja Foodie with the two lids, you're gonna need to change things up a little bit, but no worries. I will have all that information in my written post on my website, thesaltedpepper.com. All right, so now let's get into it. These are 16 ounces of frozen broccoli florets, and they range in size from like about a quarter diameter to, gosh, even bigger than a half dollar. So they are a little bit different, which means they're gonna cook a little bit different rates, but that is what we get when we get frozen broccoli. They are gonna be varied. You can do this recipe with fresh broccoli as well. You just increase your time a bit. All right, so. 16 ounces of broccoli, which is about four cups, one cup of water, that's all you need. And then of course, if you wanna put some butter, salt, and pepper on at the end, that's perfectly fine. That's what I usually do. So I have the basket in. Now I know some of you are gonna be like, wait a minute, mine didn't come with a basket. I know, the OL 501s are not coming with a basket, they're coming with a crisping plate. Use that instead, you're gonna be perfectly fine, okay? But I'm using the basket from one of my older two lid models and it fits in here perfectly fine and I love using the basket. All right, I have one cup of water that I just took right from the sink, so it's, you know, room temperish. It's not hot, it's not cold, all right? And then our four cups of broccoli go right in here. And we will close the lid. Go over to the steam crisp function. So when we're in the middle here, we only have two choices. We have steam crisp and we have steam bake. Now we wanna take our temperature to 375 and our time to eight minutes. All right, so let me explain how this works so that you understand why I set these settings um, how I did. The steam crisp function does a combination of steam and then air fry or air crisp, okay? So that's steam crisp. But we don't set the time or the temperature for steam. It is what it is, okay? It's the preheat mode, basically, that is preheating the water and creating the steam. Then as the steam fills the pot, Ninja Foodi switches over to the air crisp function, which engages the fan and the heating element at the top. So then we're circulating all that steam and eventually the steam will go away. We'll see it come out. It'll come out like in tons of amounts of steam will come out. And as the steam dissipates, then we get into a dry cooking environment and then our vegetables are roasting ever so slightly. Okay, that's why I set it for eight minutes. That's not going to start until the fan engages. And that was the time that I found for perfectly cooked broccoli for me. I don't like my broccoli mushy, but I don't want it too hard. What I would recommend if you're doing this for the first time is go ahead and set your time for 10 minutes, but definitely check on it after six minutes have count, counted down, okay? So after you switch over, let it steam and crisp for six minutes, then take a look at it. Then you can determine, is six minutes good for firmer broccoli, or do you wanna go the full 10 for really soft broccoli? Be careful though, because you don't wanna burn the tops of the broccoli, the little florets. You don't wanna burn those with the air crisping function. So keep an eye on it, but you can definitely adjust this to change the way your broccoli's cooked, okay? Don't recommend going on any hotter of a setting. I started out at a higher setting and I totally burned my broccoli. So, all right, let's hit start and let's get this going. Now, it doesn't matter where your valve is. It can be sealed 
or it can be vented when you're using the OL series of the Ninja Foodi. It makes no difference on the steam crisp functions. The only time this matters is during pressure cooking where you need to have it in the sealed position. But for this, it doesn't even matter. In fact, I have it in the sealed position, so I'll show you. It works just fine. All right, so now we see that the little dots are flashing across. That means it's preheating. PRE, that means, it, you know, preheat. The water's gonna start to boil, produce the steam, then it'll switch over, like I said, and then you'll start to see some steam coming out. All right, there we go. So it took about eight minutes, eight to 10 minutes, it'll vary, for the um, steam and everything to build enough for it to now switch over to do the eight minute countdown. Now that the fan has started, you will start to see a lot of steam coming out. I saw some earlier. Now it's pushing it down into the pot, circulating it all around that broccoli, and then we're gonna start to see it come out. All right, there we go, we are done. Now I had steam coming out the entire time this time. When I've made this in the eight quart with the um, smart lid, the steam seemed to have stopped after, I don't know, four to six minutes of the countdown. So that was interesting, but let's take a peek. They look perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, the texture is really good. So what we have here is perfectly steamed broccoli with a little bit of crispy edges and that adds even more flavor. So this is amazing. It's a great use of the steam crisp function if you have it. All right, let me go ahead and dump this in. Get all that broccoli out of there. Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful absolutely beautiful all right now what i like to do is do just simple salt pepper and butter you can of course put whatever you want on there if you have a cheese sauce you want to put on whatever you want to do but i melt two tablespoons of butter and just sort of put it over top of the broccoli and then i don't measure this i just go by feel but i take like a little pinch it's probably about an eighth of a teaspoon, maybe a quarter tops. And then about, I don't know, a quarter to a half teaspoon of salt. Of course, you can use your judgment. You can put whatever you want. You can put lemon pepper seasoning, you know, whatever you want. Oh my gosh. But this looks absolutely perfect. Let me get some that's got some nice color there, some nice crispiness. And some will be more crispy than others because it depends on where they were in the uh, basket. But that's good. That's good because then you'll have a little bit of just like a steamed broccoli and then you'll have some of those crispy parts, which are so, so good. If you have too many of the crispy parts or if they get too dark, you know, too, um, you cook them for too long, they do taste burnt. So you don't want, you don't want that. All right, here we go. This one does not have the crispy pieces on there. I'm just cutting it with a fork. See, it didn't, it's not mushy because I don't like mushy broccoli. If you like mushy broccoli, which is perfectly fine, go 10 minutes, okay? 10 to 12 minutes and you'll be fine. But you might even want to take your heat down so you're not at 375 the whole time. Maybe take it down to 350 and go longer. And that's going to help prevent burning, but it will make your broccoli much softer. Oh. Oh my gosh. So good, so, so good. Now I would say for me, this is perfectly cooked. Some people might like it a little firmer and that's fine. If you've ever had Chinese takeout and you've gotten um, their broccoli, it is softer than that, but it is not mush, okay? So it's softer than that. If you like that style broccoli that you get that's really firm and snappy, then you definitely want to decrease your time. Oh. oh my gosh. There is so much flavor. Oh. Mm. Mm. That's my favorite. There is so much flavor in those little crispy ends. Oh. This is a delicious way to make a quick and easy side dish. So go make it and enjoy.